Why do I like fighting? It's exciting. It's the ultimate challenge. Basically, it's the ultimate challenge of your physical strength, your mental strength, your emotional strength, your spiritual strength, your intellect, your ability to, you know, change your game plan, your adaptability. You, I can tell a lot about a person from rolling with them, from grappling with them. Like, are they going to jab their elbow in my rib cage? Are they mean? Are they friendly? Like, will they really, you know, t let go when I tap? You know, I can I can really tell kind of about a per person's personality through fighting them. So, you know, you have all kinds of people who do it for aggression, who do it for fun. Um, I do it for fun, but a really serious fun. You know, I'm not just playing games, but I see it as kind of playing, like grappling. I just want to jump on somebody and see if I can choke them out. It's just fun for me. Uh, so, I just love it, you know. <laughs> I'm looking for a glucosamine. Um, I always take it for my joints. My knees start feeling weird if I don't take it. Um, but it's really hard to shop because each bottle has a different number of caplets. Uh, sorry, yeah, capsules, and um, a different gram in each capsule. So you're supposed to take so many. So like, I'm trying to compare two prices, it's like I don't know. Like, you now is it cheaper in Japan or should I buy it here? But um, I don't know. <laughs> Did you see that interview with Anderson Silva and um, Ariel Helwani? And then they were dancing. And Ariel was like, I want to see you dance. And Anderson Silva was like, You want to see me dance? And Ariel was like, Yeah, yeah. And I was like, Let's dance. <laughs> it was so funny. For this trip, I brought my lovely, stylish, stylin Strike Force bag. And I brought these two flags that I got in a store called Don Quixote. And the Japanese flag and the American flag. And I'm going to enter like this, walking like this, because I'm American, but Japan is my home now, and I love both, so I'm going to represent both. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Sarah is a really powerful striker. You know, that's what we've seen a lot of in her previous fights. You know, her first, fight, her eight, first eight fights were wins by KO or TKO. so that's pretty powerful. You know, that makes a big statement, and I really want to fight Sarah Kaufman, and I think she's an incredible athlete, an incredible fighter. So um, I'm just focusing everything on her and I'm just excited for this fight against her. It's like my next dream fight, you know. I just wanna challenge myself against whatever she brings. Yeah, during fight week, I guess, when I come in early, I go shopping. Um, it's, you know, it's a way to pass the time and plus um, I live in Japan so I can't get a lot of clothes that fit me in Japan because Japanese ladies are, tend to be short and skinny. So I try on a shirt, it's like extra large. I'm like, not quite right around the shoulders. I can't do this, right? And the shoe sizes go up to like size seven for ladies, so I can't buy shoes. Um, of course, I'm a kind of a video game geek, so I, I went shopping for video games and stuff. Um, I have a PS2 now. Um, I just beat Katamari Damashi. That's good. When I first came to Japan, I had looked up a few gyms and I went to a few different gyms. And um, then one of my friends on the underground, the MMA.TV, the underground, uh, suggested Keishukai. Mm -hmm. So he took me there and I thought, wow, they're sparring so hard and they're like doing MMA. And like the other gyms kind of had the, the jujitsu class and then the kickboxing class, but these guys were like boom, boom, ground and pound, like sweet. So um, I decided to join Keishukai, even though it took me an hour and 15 minutes to get there one way. So I ended up with this huge commute, but um, yeah, it was a fun four years. I enjoyed Keishu Kai. Right now I'm probably drinking about like 12 liters of distilled water a day, um, which also means that I probably pee out about 12 liters of distilled water a day. Um, so for the next, for today and then tomorrow I'll probably drink maybe like 8 liters of water and then I'll just stop drinking the water so at that point it'll be a little bit easier but a lot of water. Adam? Just pour your water. I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Stop. I'm not even doing anything. Get your fingers out of there. <laughs> <laughs> my, That's what she said! From my perspective. <laughs> I dislike you. <laughs> I, I hate dislike you. <laughs>
How can I pour the water without lifting my arm? I can't. Oh, big bump. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said! That's what she said! You're a terrible person. FGDPCP. Okay, go ahead and switch eyes. So normally, all oh, nice meeting you. Sarah. Sarah, nice meeting you. Well, when is your fight? Uh, Friday. Oh, that's pretty cool. So yeah. is it like a, a championship bout? Or yeah, title fight. Oh, is that right? Yeah. That's pretty neat. So you, are you fighting that? There's supposed to be another girl that's supposed to have a checkup with me. The yeah. Japanese lady? She's yeah. from Japan, but she's white. Oh, so she's fighting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're okay. Fighting. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. So this is a girl that's going to win. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, we'll be yeah. seeing her again after the fight, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, let's like, raise your arm up. I'm just going to put for the left. I, uh, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay that's fine, I got it. <laughs> So do you have a special martial arts that you do? Like, uh, just a mix of everything, so oh, okay. boxing, kickboxing. Yeah. I like punching people a lot. Okay. <laughs> so. Good. Let's do that again now. She likes these games. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. All right. All right. I think everything's pretty good. Awesome. Any any questions or concerns? No. All right. I'll sign it off and we're done. Fantastic. Okay. All right. I'll go. be right back. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank nice you. Meeting you. Um, you know, I, I definitely think that this fight is, stylistically, is a good fight for me. Roxanne's a tough opponent. You know, she's been around for, for a long time and, and has gone against some good people. And, and she's won some, she's lost some. Um, but I don't think, I don't think that she's going to run away. And, and I think that this is going to be a fight that's going to get finished. You know, I, I think I learned that I do have to be patient. And, and I'm someone who wants to go. And I want to fight and I don't want to you know, dilly-dally around and just, just pitter-patter. Um, you know, and I felt that, I, you know, when I watched the fight back, I didn't think it was as boring as I felt that it was. Um, but I also don't think that I should have or could have really done anything differently aside from the fact of, you know, throwing myself into a really bad situation. Um, that, that's unnecessary. So you can't, you know, you have, to, you have to pay attention to the fans and what they want to see because they're obviously giving you support and they're going to help bring promotions, um, force them to, to move you up and, and see you more often. So it is important, definitely, and I want to put on those exciting fights, but at the same time, you know, I, I'm not going to compromise my actual fighting ability in, in the process. Talk to you soon. Bye, Josh. He always asks about my family. Really? Well, he's the one last time that, like, asked, like, a thousand questions. Oh, yeah, but that's because you're so weird about it. I'm not really weird about it. I just don't talk to them. Maybe he doesn't understand that vampires don't have parents. <laughs>